This simple salad could seriously just be made with a can of corn and a can of red kidney beans rinsed off and then you add some pomegranate seeds and cilantro, but that'd make for a very short video. Let's learn how to do it from fresh on this episode of It Came From The Fridge and Cabinet Slash Freezer. Now if you're like me, and no I don't mean unemployed and trying to learn a ukulele with all your free time, you're gonna want to soak your beans in cold water in your fridge overnight. This helps the beans to not split as bad and will also drastically reduce the cooking time. So we need to strain the water out that we had them originally soaking in, then put it in a pot and bring some water up about double the height of the beans, add some salt and a bay leaf. Bring these up to a nice low simmer and simmer them for about an hour and a half to two hours. We want them to be tender and hopefully the ratio of water being two to one will leave you with just a small amount of liquid left in the beans when they're done. So set the beans aside to cool down while we shuck and desilk our corn. Now that is just taking off the outer husk and then getting rid of those threads that are on corn. My two favorite ways to do it are with just a gloved hand, you can kind of pull it off with your gloved hand. Or if you take a rubber band, you can kind of run it up and down the corn and it'll pull the silk off. Ultimately, you'll probably have to pull some off with your fingers, but these are easy ways to get it started. And it might seem a bit scary to do it this way, but I'd like you to try cutting the corn off the cob like this. Put your knife at a 45 degree angle, getting the tip onto the board, and slide it back through the corn. It's much safer than kind of having the corn standing straight up and pushing that knife all the way down. It also preserves your blade much more. So just 45 degree angle, slide the knife handle back, and roll the corn. So to cook it, we're just going to want to take a pan, get it hot with some oil, add that corn, and I like to use a wooden spoon because it will pick up the extra starch that's in all that corn and maybe some pieces of silk that you forgot. Because you're going to be doing this thing where you're kind of scrubbing the bottom of it to get that corn unstuck because it's got so much starch in it. Then we just need to add some butter, about a tablespoon, to our corn and some SNP. Now SNP is just salt and pepper shortened. I just wanted to try to learn, learn you, teach you a couple things along the way as we go and to kind of deglaze the pan or get everything to unstick and come together well I just hit it with some lime juice. This also adds a little extra flavor. We want to transfer this to a container. Now pro tip as you see there that's just a container I had the beans in earlier so just reuse your containers it's not like you really need to rinse them out much just some beans and water in it we're going to add some arrows from a pomegranate or the seeds of a pomegranate and up there i was pointing to a link where you can see how to remove seeds from a pomegranate how many more times can i say pomegranate in this shot and with our kidney beans cooled, we now add them to the mix. So with our kidney beans in corn, we have a nice earthiness, a sweetness and tanginess from the tanginess, tanginess from the pomegranate. Let's add something extra. We're going to take some cilantro, which will work really nice with that lime that we added to the corn. And since we're not inviting any super handsome men over like George Clooney or Brad Pitt, we really just need to do a rough chop. So don't worry about getting too fancy schmancy with this. Now this also adds a really nice extra pop of color and this dish goes really well with almost any kind of protein but just to show you we did ours with the salmon that we did a dill and caper sauce with and a side of rice and since I can't have seafood I did mine with just a plain old pork chop and some rice. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next one of It Came From The Fridge. Madam Kitty Kitty says, thank you for watching. Also, here are some other videos you might enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to send her all the tuna you have. All the tuna you have. All the tuna you have. All the tuna.